हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल टेक्मा है गुड न्यूज़ फॉर दि ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ग्रैजुएट स्टूडेंट्स हु आर लुकिंग फॉर ए जॉब इनफोसिस दैट इनफिटिक्यू सर्टिफिकेशन एज बीन स्टार्टेड सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इनफिटिक्यू सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जाम एंड हाउ यू विल गेट इंटरव्यू अपॉर्चुनिटी फ्रॉम द इनफिटिक्यू सर्टिफिकेशन एंड विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स डेव इन दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल नाउ First of all, let me tell you about NPTU certification. And NPTU certification is going to conduct by Infosys. And in this test, you will go into test on programming skills and databases. And uh, based on the NPTU certification score, you will get a uh, certification as a software programmer by Infosys. At the same time, you will get an interview opportunity from the Infosys. Let me see the eligibility criteria. So coming to the eligibility criteria. If you are a uh, 2022 uh, graduate student in BE, BTech, MBE, MTech, MSc, MCA, or an MCM student, then you are going to attain NPT certification. And there is no uh, percentage criteria, and uh, you are still going to attain uh, uh, NPT certification. Coming to the NPT exam uh, process, uh, there will be three rounds. The first round will be qualifying round, and second round will be final round. And third round will be upgradation round. So based on the role you got in final round, you can upgrade the your role based on the upgradation round. Let me discuss in detail about qualifying round. In this qualifying round, you are going to test on programming skills, database management, and aptitude. So in first section, you are going to test on programming like Java or Python. So the Java or Python will be de decided. Uh, based on the module you selected during the slot booking so if you, uh, you selected java then you are going to get java questions or if you selected python then you are going to get python questions and number of questions will be 20 for the first section and coming to the second section it will be on database management system and there will be 10 questions and coming to the third section it will be on aptitude and it will have 10 questions and the total you will get uh, at 40 questions of mcqs the qualifying round exam is going to conduct on 2nd and 3rd april 2021 so based on the date of exam uh, uh, you uh, you book it during the slot booking uh, you will get an hall ticket uh, regarding that exam and uh, the test duration will be 60 minutes of time and you are going to attend those 40 mcq questions in 60 minutes and uh, So there was no programming uh, test uh, during a uh, qualifying round. There are only MCQs kind of, and uh, there will be uh, one mark for each question, and there will be also negative marking. So the negative marking will be minus zero point two five, and uh, the passing criteria will be sixty percent. If you cleared uh, above sixty percent, then uh, you will be eligible for the final round. Otherwise, you will not go into attend a uh, final round. So. You are going to attend qualifying round only once. There was no other chance uh, to attend for the qualifying round. And coming to the pattern for the final round, so the who guys uh, cleared a uh, uh, qualifying round, uh, they will have a chance to attend the final round. Let me discuss the pattern now. So in this final round, uh, there will be first section uh, will be on programs that is hands on. You will get two programming questions. Either on Java or Python, based on the programming language you selected during the slot booking. And coming to the second section, will be on uh, MCQs or uh, Java or Python. It will be have a uh, ten objective questions. And uh, this uh, third section will be on uh, database management system. It will have a uh, ten questions. Time duration for the final round will be three hours of time. And uh, uh, there was no negative marking in this round. So in uh, Uh, call playing round you will get a negative marking but uh, here there was no negative marking and uh, uh, if you score uh, 65% and above then you are going to clear the test okay if you clear the test uh, then you will going to get an uh, inptq certificate as uh, certified software programmer by infosys and uh, you will get a pre placement interview opportunity for the role of system engineer role uh, it will be normally like hr round there will be no technical round for this uh, system engineer role I'll show you the infidu certificate that you will get if you clear the uh, final round so this is the sample of infidu certificate uh, that you are going to get 
so you will be, you can see that it will be software uh, uh, as as a software uh, programmer by infosys and it will have a great value for your resume and coming to the application round so the guys who clear the final round clearance in the means that uh, if you got an offer like a system unit role offer after clearing hr round in uh, uh, final round then uh, you are going to uh, application round okay if you didn't get an offer after clearing uh, hr round then you are not going to get an uh, application round so if you got a role of system engineer after completing the final round then you will be eligible for the application round so in system engineer uh, role we have a 3.5 lpa package and coming to the application round uh, you can take the test and you will get an uh, uh, interview uh, uh, placement uh, opportunity for the role of system engineer specialist role and a power programmer role so let me discuss uh, how uh, this application round will going to happen so there will be three programming questions it will be purely on programming uh, i mean uh, programming questions so there will be no objective in this round so there will be three hours of time and each question will have a, a different weightage like uh, the three questions the first question will be an easy and second question will be medium and third question will be uh, hard so uh, each test case for each question will have different weightage okay based on the number of test cases you cleared uh, you may have chances for the interview opportunity and uh, as i said uh, in uh, ablation round i mean uh, sorry as i said uh, there will be java or python programming languages in uh, uh, qualifying round and the final round but coming to the ablation round In addition to Java or Python, there are several different the programming languages will be available for you uh, to take the test. And mostly uh, the test will be on Hacker Earth, I think. And uh, the if you clear this ablation round, uh, then uh, you will have a uh, uh, update, updated uh, roles like a system engineer specialist role and a power programmer role interview opportunities. So the package will be high for these uh, two roles. if you want to upgrade your role from system engineer role to system engineer specialist role and power programmer role then you have to perform well in upgradation round so this is all about the uh, infidq exam process and all the best for the candidates of 2022 uh, batch who are going to attend infidq test thank you